What's good, everybody? It's your boy TK from TK TV, and guess what? I'm here with one of a kind pastor of this amazing ministry that's being built right here on the stubborn grounds of Petersburg, yes. Virginia. Yes. And I just want to give you a nice, brief, nice, welcoming introduction to TK TV, man. Thank you, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Where are we at right now? We are in Petersburg, Virginia. All right. This place is called. Um, this will be our new home of Greater Works Christian Fellowship. And uh, we are currently um, in transition from our old building. And we just purchased this building. And myself and some of the members, man, just so excited about our new home. So this is Petersburg. This is Petersburg, Virginia. Nice, nice, nice. I'm glad to be here. Uh I know this area a little bit too, and I'm, I'm just excited to see inside the church. Now, if, if I'm not mistaken, you went to Richard Bland. Richard Bland. Oh, man, so you home then. I you home with us. You home, you home. <laughs> yeah, 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 Richard Bland. This short story, when I was in high school, man, okay. years ago, playing basketball, my coach used to make us run from the high school, which is 31. 31 on one Johnson Road. Right. We used to run, we had to run to Richard Bland. That's our conditioning. Right. So I always remember Richard Bland because yeah. of that run, man. Because of that run. That you all right. That's it. Yo, that's it. I that's it. That's it. Well, go ahead and take me a tour. So What's up? come on in. We're coming in through the back door of the new establishment. What we got going on. Currently, where we stand at right now would be the fellowship hall. So this is where we'll come in and we'll be able to sit down and, you know, uh, uh, just mingle and, and, and eat and just fellowship, you know. Right, right. Church folk like the fellowship at the church. Where well, right. good food is There you go. And speaking of food, so we, so we come around right here, right? So as you can see, we've already begun to um, frame walls. Okay. Okay, so we, we, we built this wall so that we can um, build our, our kitchen area, you know. Can't have a church if you don't have a kitchen. Correct. You know, we, 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 we like to eat. Right. We like to preach. We like to worship. We like to eat. Yeah. So this would <laughs> be the kitchen right here, right? So this would be the kitchen. So we came in and, and, and we just framed the kitchen up. And this would be the kitchen. We're gonna have, you know, we're gonna have a, a, a stove and a refrigerator and all that good stuff. And you know, we put some cabinets up so we can house some things. So. We're really trying to maximize the space here. So right. this would be our kitchen area and we'll be able to serve, you know, the people and, and feed and we'll be able to serve, you know, the people and, and feed the people and stuff like that. And hopefully they feed me. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they going to. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. Hopefully they hopefully they feed me. Some nice. nice. Right, yeah. So what you see, so what you see here is um um me saving the doors the framework that we took down to try to save money. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna reuse all this stuff here okay. as we continue to renovate the church. So I didn't allow those guys to just do a total demo and throw everything away. Because right. some of this other stuff can, can, can be reused. So like this cabinet, yeah. we're gonna reuse those cabinets, we're gonna reuse those doors, we're gonna use these door frames nice. so that we can so we can make it happen. That's nice. And, and the fact that you're utilizing the tools that's already in the original church and seeing that, hey, these parts can really be reused. And, and you know, you guys doing the shaving on the doors and cleaning it up and repainting. That's a very smart time. A very smart time. Hey, man, when you, when you just start out and you have a smaller congregation, you got to be, um, you got to be frugal. Yeah. Some people say you're being cheap. But as a wise man, so you use what still can be used to put it back in. You have to save the church money. And so now you gotta use your um you gotta have you gotta kinda like use your imagination like that. Okay. Right? Because um the building we got, um we are opening it up, we're gonna expand it. Okay. So we gotta we gotta knock some walls and stuff down, we gotta we gotta make it bigger than what it what it, what it is because the vision is to always grow and expand. So this room right here. Currently, this room right here, we're going to turn this into the men's restroom. Okay. All right. So this will be a men's restroom. We're going to do the put the stalls in there and stuff like that. So we're kind of working on that. So this will be the men's restroom right here. Along with that, as you can see, this is the older building. 
So now what we're doing is, this was the women's restroom, and this was the men's restroom. Right. So this entire wing, we're going to open it up. Okay. okay. We're, going to, we're going to make this whole entire wing the women's restroom. So we're going to knock this wall down. We're going to expand these doors so it'll be one large door. It'll be uh, another small person. Right. Store. You know, so we'll be uh, a women's wing. So you know, mm -hmm. women always like to go in there and powder up and pamper up and right. you know take their makeup and their nails. You know, men, we just go in there and handle our business <laughs> and we come on out. That's right. You know, we come on out. So yeah, man. So we just excited, man. What's going on? So, so let me bring you right here. We got some sheetrock that we know to help us frame it, help us frame the walls and stuff like that. So you see a lot of stuff going on, and uh, we're gonna open it up. So we come here into the um, sanctuary. Come to the sanctuary. And the best part about this here is, is that I'm gonna turn the lights on for you. But the best part about this right here is, is that y'all have a chance to see it, and it's ugly things. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people don't know that before you see the beauty of something, you had to go through the little transformation stage. Correct. You know, almost like your, I like what your t-shirt say, catch me, um, watch before yeah. I start trending. Trend. And that's what, that's what we're doing. So, hey, I'm going to take that from you. Catch me before I start trending. Because when I get to the top, you might not need to touch me. So here we go. Let me, um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, Currently, what we have here is, y'all can use y'all imagination a little bit. Uh oh. Let me get the door open. If I can get it open. There we go. It'll come open. Well, yes, they got it locked. But no, this is where we at. This is the foyer. Okay. Alright. So if you come through the front door, this is the foyer. And if you, if you can already see, we've already took the ceiling down. And we put up a new ceiling. We put up the recessed lighting. So we're bringing it, we're bringing the building to the 21st century. Mm. All right. right. And currently now where this, where, where he's standing, we built this wall. This is our sound room. So okay. this is where we're gonna have the the the, the technicians. The technicians gonna be in there. Okay. Doing doing what they do. So we built those walls up. You know, we 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 are expanding. We building those walls. Putting up the recessed lighting as you can see. Um, you come by here, this is gonna, this is where we're gonna knock this block out. This is gonna be a window. So we're gonna put a window right there so they can see inside the sanctuary. The clearance. Right there. Okay, okay. So that's what they'll be doing all their the technicians will be doing their sound checks and their mics and they running the sound board and the cameras and the lights and all that good stuff. Now 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 I know a lot of churches like, you know, traditional churches use very uh simplistic like coloring, lighting. Yellow mm -hmm. lights, white lights. Do you see yourself like having a, a translucent of lights, like LED, purple, a mixture of different colors coming from? Yeah, I think I, I think what that what, what that what that brings is a different element to the to the ministry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because you can play around with it, you can play around with sound, and now that when you're doing different events, you can change the lighting for your different events. Correct. So yeah, so we're gonna put the different lights up and so you know if the kids are doing a kids theme one Sunday, we can play with the lights to you know, help the kids, you know, do their little presentations and stuff like that. So definitely gonna do a lot of things like that. Wow. So man, the guy's been in here, the guy's been in here um, um, from eight in the morning and then he stayed to about three or four and another crew come in from, from six in the evening to about ten at night. So we can pretty much so this will be um, the sanctuary, as, as, as you can see. And I really want to try to capture the, the right now. Yeah. So, you know, the right now. So, eventually, we're going to have the TVs up top. These chandeliers will be removed. And we're going to have recess lighting all throughout. Because we really want to, you know, open the place up and stuff like that. So, um, and we're going to, we're going to um, redo the staging, or I should say the four pick area. So it'll be a one step, two step up all around just to help play with it. And so this is where we at, man. And so we just been buying material and we've been building and buying material and building. So let me bring y'all through here. And this is where your offices are going to be. 
pastor, yeah, you hurt the leg. You see, you gotta really understand what you're getting in on here. These walls that's gone right now, all of these will come through the wall. So if you turn around and you hit this wall behind you right here, they were like that. They were concrete walls. Wow. Knock down all of these walls so we can create the space that we want. Because it was just one big space for a lot of claws and stuff like that. So we were going to open it up. So this would be like a fat ass wall. You know, so we're going to deal with the fat ass wall in the church. People just think the church is all spiritual. Right. But there is a business side to church. Right. And if they like some gas or more, you know, get a net. To the pastor's office. So Come, on the pastor's office. office. Come on into my office. Come on into my office. This is the pastor's office. Okay, okay. Can you see it? I can see it. Man, now where, where are you going to put your desk? I'm, I'm interested. I'm not because I'm really trying to get into the imagination. You, you know what I want to do? I want to catch him when he first comes through the door. Okay. So I'm probably going to sit somewhere up in here. Oh, yeah. That way I can open the window, and, you know, turn with the light, and then I can see the folk when they come in. So I'm going to have my desk here. Right where you're standing, mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna put a, a couch there. Nice. You know, nice. put the couch there, then you know the table and lights and stuff. And then you walk down here, so this is this where he's standing right now, as you can see, this would be my clothes closet. Mm -hmm. I better hang my you know, we're gonna build a closet, better hang my clothes up and move stuff right, like that. Right. Um, we, we still have to yet knock this down to open this one up. And so this would be the closet. And then um, I don't really know how they're going to design it, but I won't walk through the closet, but I walk into the closet. But then, they're going to put a, um, they're going to put a shower right here. Shower? They're going to put a shower. So I guess when I get done preaching and, right. you know, all that stuff, and I, and I can come here and I can bring out events or in the city or whatever, I can like So I've been coming here. Come on in the shower, man. I'm in the you shower. can't get in the shower yeah. with me, <laughs> but you can stay in, in the shower. I'm in the shower. Right? You're in the shower right there. There's no... There's no water coming, but you in the shower. Right. Oh man. You in the shower. So this mirror is gonna move though. This mirror is gonna move. So this window is also going. No! I mean, that's the good thing about construction, man. You guys know how to they measure work. Right. So let me tell you what, what they're gonna do. They're gonna put a small wall here at some degree. Small wall here. It may, it may come from like where you are. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they're going to end up putting a shower here. And then, they're going to block this off. But anyway, they get a shower and you can try to make a bathroom and stuff like that. So, so the one that says toilet and sink, this is not? This is going to be the toilet. This is, this is going to be the sink. So this is wow. like going to be the vanity area. That's crazy. You know, that's crazy, right? How they do that, right? Right. Yeah. It's almost, you know what it's like? It's almost like when God created us. Took us from nothing. You know, just the dust of the ground. Wasn't no shape to us, wasn't no form to us. And then God just began to shape us and mold us and press into us and pull us a little bit and stretch us a little bit. And, you know, He gave you the brown eyes, right. the high cheekbones, and, you know, He just, just, he just, and that's what they're doing with this building, man. He just, he just shaped and created us. It was all said and done, just like you. I can preach that up. You can. I said, wherever the spirit leads you, I know what it's telling me right now. I don't feel like it's going to be You know, for some reason, because, you know, everybody sees it as that. And I feel like those people really need to know that is how it is. You know what? You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm going to pray on that. And if that's what he gives me, that's what I'm going to preach. Let me let me know when the first I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. yeah, 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 yeah. So and then once I get done, you know, getting dressed and all that good stuff, I let you go out first. 
Can you going out? You going out? You going up, up on the pulpit now? Wow. You, can can you see that? Look at that. The people will be out there, mm -hmm. and you wow. just yeah, you you in front of the people. Yeah. You can create that. And so this is where we are. This is where we are. And uh, mm -hmm. you, you you up here? Once you up here, you up here. And you know what they say? Once you step off there, yeah, ain't no going back. This is where we are, man. So this is from 1668, home of Greater Works Christian Fellowship. Oh, I got one more thing to show you. Uh-oh. Watch this. Come on. We got a surprise, y'all. Can't have a church if you don't have a place to put your your young folk, right? Come on, everything is. Why do you Ah, there you go. So this is going to be our multi-purpose center. It's going to be our youth center, um, and so we pretty much will be able to the kids will be able to come here and on Sundays have their own separate building. To do um to do Sunday school or you know things of that nature. And then um come on in. Whoa. Yes. Can you can you can you look at this man? Look at this. This is this is what we're gonna use as our church's church, multi-purpose center. I also want to make it um available to the community. You know, people may want to have business meetings or, you know, gatherings or, you know, birthday celebrations. You know, you always want to come into a community and give back and be a blessing. And so we're going to make sure that the community knows that this is here and available for, for use. Mm -hmm. You know, because some people may not be able to get to a big home and this would be here for them. So we're currently trying to, um, these pews were in the sanctuary. So we're taking these out and we are currently trying to um, um, sell them and get them away and then we're going to bring in our own. Hey, listen, man. It's that's amazing, man. It's awesome, man. And so, um, since we, since we got this building, man, we just been working on it nonstop. People have been a blessing. The members have been excited. I've been excited. I mean, my wife has just been very understanding, and I spend all of my time there just trying to get it up and going. But man, we're just so excited, though. But yeah, this would be our multi-purpose room, our youth center, you know, in, in, in community room. So. That's what we're doing, man. That's that's what we're doing. And so some of this stuff we are keeping. Okay. You know, like the like the coffee pots and stuff. So when y'all come, you know, you can get some coffee, some tea, you know, some chips for you and stuff. Definitely so, always gonna be hungry, you know. What this saying? is where we at, man. <laughs> this is where we at. But yeah, I mean, this is where we at. This is where we at. Last but not least, I got some rest for you. Good God, one more surprise. I got one more surprise for you. Good God. Everybody would know exactly where we are. Beautiful day out here, right? Beautiful day. Nice fall. Beautiful day. With Beautiful spring day. weather. Beautiful day. <laughs> and so this, um, I thought it was very important, man. We came out and got the name and stuff changed over. So right now, we took it from who used to have it. We got our name up. And so we're going um, to we're gonna, we're gonna clean it up. And we're going to clean it up. And dress it all up and put the information on there. The first thing I wanted to do was establish it. So this, this is where we at, man. 1668 South Sycamore. Guys, honestly, I have to really say, man, this has been a wonderful tour of this beautiful upcoming ministry of Greater Work Christian yes. Fellowship here in 1668 Sycamore Road. 
in Petersburg, Virginia, home of Mr. Brooks, man. I'm telling you, like, 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 it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And honestly, seeing the vision, you know, me used to be from this area, going to school up here. That's right. And, 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 That's right. And seeing what is being given back to the community, you yeah. know, because being a year up here, I really saw Petersburg for like, you know, that needed something. And I feel as though yeah. this is what it is that's going to bring and unify, and this consistency is going to unify the uh, community together. And that's what we want to do. Yeah. yeah. For sure. You home, though, bro. You home. You home. I heard it. And that's in my list of resumes where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, we're just going to get ready, Um, take a couple photos okay. here, and yeah. then we're going to take me around your neighborhood. All right, so let me give you a little backdrop. I come from a family of six. I'm the fourth of six. And um, this is where I grew up at. And so um, I grew up here. And this house, when I grew up in it, did not look the way it looked now. My mom was a, a jazzy, a jazzy lady. So, um, but we came here. And those are the original bars that's on the that's on the porch. My wow. mom my mom put those there. Wow. So you can see the bars on the windows, the bars on the porch. It used to be a brown house, right? With get up, get up, get uh, up. with the dark trimming. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a it was a brown house with the dark trimming and you had, had the black bars and everything just just flowed and, and, and matched. But it was such a Great childhood going up here, man. And then this, this was the playground. So everybody was on the playground wow. in, the, in the basketball court. So I lived here, and this was the playground. And so basketball, you name it, everything happened right here. It's gone now, but where that green, that green um, awning is, used to be the community swimming pool. So that's the swimming pool right there. So this stuff here is kind of new. Place to be a swimming pool. So you play basketball, you can be swimming. My mom lived here and she sold icebergs. She was more like a candy lady. Candy lady. You have a sweet and a lot of sweet icebergs, stuff like that. But let me tell you, come on, let me let me tell you the history right here. Let me tell you. So um, grew up here, then when I became a teenager, you know, um, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we grew up on the system, you know, so mom, you know, grew up on the system. But you know, as a child, you didn't know that stuff. Right? You just, just happy, you know. But as I got older, I started seeing my mom struggling, I started seeing her, you know, do different things. And then, uh, me and my brothers, we get a little older, so uh, we teenagers now. Yeah. You know, we teenagers. So my mom was, she was, she was straight. So she would give us, give us a, give us a curfew. And of course, as a teenager. We ain't trying to make no curfew. Yeah. So we used to come home. True story, we used to come home and ring the doorbell. My mom's window was right here, up top right here. Wow. And we used to come home and, and, ring, and ring the doorbell. And my mom used to open that window up. And he used to say, stop ringing my doorbell. You should you should have came home when you're supposed to be here, right? And he used to say, yeah, exactly. My mom was tough. <laughs> Can't get us out of the house? No, 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 no. So she used to slam the window, right? And you, you, you look at that, man, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. You so, sit right here. So let me tell you what I used to do. Let me tell you exactly what I used to do. I used to sit right here, mm -hmm. just like this. And I used to sleep outside. Sleep outside. And you see, this is the main street. Right. So I'd be right here. And um, I'd be just like this, sleeping. And you'll, you'll hear a car coming down the street. So you, I raise my head up, I watch the car as it travels down the street. And when it got to about past that church right there, if I didn't see no brake lights, I knew I was safe. Mm. So I just put my head back there, go to sleep, and do that through the wee hours of the night. And my mom, when she said she was not gonna open that door, she did not open that door. Mm. And so, and if I, and, and you might ask me, why didn't you go in the back and sleep? Yeah. 
Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Do you, you know why? Because it was, it was all kind of like possums and <laughs> red clues and all that stuff back there, right? Yeah, the so, red yeah, it's a So you felt, but well, I did anyway. I felt safer sitting here because mm -hmm. I had some street lights or whatever case may be, you know, stuff like that. And then cars was coming back, so I felt safe. But back there, man, you ain't want to wrestle with no possums and no coons and no, uh, and none of that kind of stuff. But this is it, man. So we used to get out, man, listen. The neighborhood was junk. But this, this, this is where it started. This is where I got my confidence. This is where I got my my strength. This is where I got my, you know, my ability to be able to um, handle myself, man, just do road. Um, and just be able to, you know, just, just, just operate and mean it, man. I mean, this playground taught me a lot. I mean, you know, norm, now we go to school, we learn all that stuff in school, but public speaking, it happened right there. But what's, what's one moment? I know you said public speaking happened right there. What's one moment, the final moment over there, from the house to over there to the most memorable moment of your life? Trying to get the next play on the basketball court. And just because I lived here, mm -hmm. doesn't, didn't mean I was gonna get the next play. So you had to talk your way up on the court. Mm. So that's what I said, public speaking, you, you, you had to talk loud. Hey, I got next. I was here. No, 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 that's not fun. Yeah. So all that was all that stuff that you do in public speaking class, standing tall, inflating your voice, um, speaking so people can feel you, can, can feel you. Yeah, yeah. Cause I could be in the house, right? And the guys would be already on the court, picking their team. But I was in the house already, and I ain't got there yet. But I had to convince them that I was already out here. I had to come back home to grab something. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get it. Hey, Johnny. I had to convince them. <laughs> but no, that's, that's where it started, man. I mean, you know, hey, man, we 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 bonded right here. We fought right here. Yeah. Um, man, we 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 hung out right here. I mean. Man, I mean, everything, everybody been to the playground. So you got, you know, your right. your you, 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 you first opportunity to really talk to a little girl happened right here. That's, that's. Happened right here. That's so your moment. That's it, man. But just the neighborhood, man. And to this day, to this day, man, all the guys, man, we are like brothers and sisters around here. Uh, we still keep in touch. That's good. You that's know, good. Um, all of that, man. So, but it all started right here, man. This the house right here. And I tell you one thing. I always say I'm gonna end up coming here. I'm gonna end up buying this house. That's that's, that's my goal. My goal is to come to this house and turn it into maybe a a, um, a woman's shelter or a battle shelter, something so they can always commemorate my mom. You right. know what I'm saying? So I don't know, you know, house of Audrey or something, but yeah, yeah. But that's what I want to do. Every time I ride past here, I um, this is five twelve, five twelve. South Jefferson Street. South Jefferson Street. South Jefferson Street. There you go. <laughs> yeah, South Jefferson Street, man. This, this, this is, this is where it all happened right here. That's, that's my brother on, um, on, on Facetime. What's up, man? I got the guys out here showing the house, man. I gotta do it to you, man. I just told Kennedy to go back to Wonders. We, 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 we had our sticker in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. Hey, Come on, man. <laughs> I told him the story how we used to sit on the step all night with our head down, come on and open the door. Cause she would, she would open the door. Oh man. Uh, hey, 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 is this it, man? And I told him about the playground, man. How we, that's, that was our first public speaking. That was our confidence. Yeah. That, that everything you learned in college, we learned right here. Hey, so many memories right there, man. And this is, this is amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is it, though, bro. This is it. So. What's the address? Five twelve South Jefferson. It's still five twelve. I can I can show you, better Then I can tell you. <laughs> let, let, let me flip you. <laughs> What's that right there? Don't take me there, man. Don't open it. Don't don't come on the porch again. Hey, man. man I got you here, man. Don't come on that porch no more, yo. I, 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 I got you, man. I got you. But yeah, man, um, just, just telling the guys how we, when, when we got the house, how it looked, to where it looked now, and um, this is it, man. This, this is it. This is amazing. As you can honestly see, the defining moments of what really made Mr. Brooks. Yeah. You know, as a youth, and that, that, you know, yeah. 
Starting from the playground. Moms being the candy lady, the iceberg lady. Something that we can all truly relate to growing up. But you know, just listening in just really defines like how a person formulates, like molded, like how he mentioned how the church from the dirt, like we started from what is considered nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, but you find the value of something of where you come from, and that that's just in a you know a heart warming thing because like you coming back here and you looking at 512 South Jefferson. Yeah, man. South yeah. Jefferson, yeah. man. Yeah, a lot of memories. It, and and seeing where you are now. A lot of memories. It's just a, a grateful bless, uh, honestly, man. And and for for this to be my first day meeting you and just seeing everything, it feels like I traveled down memory lane with you. Yeah, you know man. Yeah, yeah. Um, humble beginnings. Yeah. Humble, 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 humble beginnings. And um, and that that is probably one of my it's probably one of my strong suits to get where I came from. A many a nights, I went to bed hungry and tired. A many a nights. And oftentimes when I'm preaching and I'm telling a story to the to the church members, I revert back to these stories here. Having to go to bed home. You know, my mother taking a bag of potatoes and cutting them into french fries and chopping up an onion. And telling one of his sons to go to the corner store and get a three or four dollars worth of bologna. And it was french fries, bologna, chopped up onion. Sometimes water, oftentimes water, but I'm big. That was our meal. Big meal. Many Y'all might not even know about this, man. I, I, my brothers and I, we used to make syrup sandwiches. Do you know what a syrup sandwich is? That's when you take two pieces of bread, you take a bottle of syrup, and put and spread the syrup on the bread. And put the two pieces of bread together and you eat it. They, they call it a syrup sandwich. In DC, they call that a. Uh, I forgot. A glizzy. <laughs> they call it a glizzy because they, they take a hot dog bun. Okay. And it, they say icing and put it over the same concept. <laughs> same oh, but, concept. But, but you know what it's designed to do? All it was designed to do was to take the hunger pain away. Wow. Take the hunger pain away. And so now I never forget those things. Never forget those things. Yeah, yeah. So this man, oh, y'all taking me back, man. Y'all taking me back, man. I you know, I really wanna, you know. Take, take that walk to that walk. Let's and do I it. want you to tell me what was that one defining moment. I know you had to prove yourself on the yeah, court. Yeah, yeah. But the question So, so my question is to you, I know you said you had to prove yourself that you had to be on that court. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now the question to me, did you play any sports in school? I played basketball, man. Okay. I, I, okay. I played basketball. I played basketball. It ran in the family. And uh, listen, man, you can't grow up across the street from a basketball court, and <laughs> you can't you, you can't play. <laughs> I mean, that's like that that's like oxymoron, you know. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, man, you used to cross that street, man, and um, drop your book bag down and come out here, and it and it, 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 it be packed. And then what? Now watch the walk. Now see y'all taking me back. I already I already put my swag walk on. Oh uh, no! <laughs> hey hey, let's here. Hey hey, let's go. That, that's my neck. That's my neck. The swag walk on uh, here. Uh, hey, look, who up, man? Me, you. All right, me, you. Who up? Let's go. Let's go. And, 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 and you get out here, man. Same and, and, and go. Same go. Same go. Same go. Hey, man, we had man. So I'm gonna tell you what I really did find him. Okay. The older guys, right? Mm -hmm. Used to used to, used to hold the court down. So that's how old they might have been. They might have been in their teens. Yeah. They are 18s, 19s, 20s. I might have been in my 13, 14. So the older guys, they used to win the court. Right. But this one day, the one guy short. Right? And I was down here playing on the monkey ball. Never forget, bless his heart. We call him Duval. He looked down there and said, hey, which way y'all want to play? And I looked at him and I, I said, me. A mm -hmm. little bit terrified, because I'm playing with the older guys now. Right, right. But I got on the court, man, I started playing with the older guys, man. And I never forget. I want to show you something. Right over here. It was a defining moment play. I never forget. The ball was about to go out of bounds. I grabbed the ball, go out of bounds, 
saved it. We call it saved it. Saved the ball from going to Bell. Mm. Give it to my teammate. And I think they end up scoring a layup. And we end up winning the game. Mm -hmm. Now to me, I didn't score the layup. Right. But the fact that I was on the court with the older guy, I made the game winning save. And we and we won. Because once you lost, you had to sit down. Yeah, you had to sit down. So man, it, it, was, it was just stuff like that, man, that helped build your confidence. Yeah, for them older guys to come over and pitch on the back and they made good play, you know, good job. But from that day, from that day on, mm -hmm. I've always, um, I never went back there and had to play at the monkey balls before. I always played up here. Yeah, yeah, I always played up here. Mm. I'm up here with the big dogs. That's now. it, man. That's it. That's up it. here with the big dogs. That's it. Man, That's it. man. So many memories, though, man. Look at this. They used to be us. They used to, they used to be us. The light. The light. So when the night time came, that thing came on, I started like, play ball all day, play ball all night, and then we got done with that ball. And we used to sleep, jump the fence, sleep in the field. So many kids all night. Every now and then, little old ladies go to sleep and holler, oh, get out that pole! I'm gonna call the police! But they, after a while, they got used to us being in the field, man. But, but just, just good up man. Just good up man. Yeah, that's it. If we could take a quick seat, you know, I, I know we spoke about the neighborhood and everything. Two. Mm -hmm. Young man, man, you know, you're looking for a wife, you're looking for a, a, a girl to make your wife. You take a look for the, for the physical attributes only. Oh, oh. And um, for where God was going to take me later on in my life, I needed the physical and the And as a young man, All right, hold on. Three, two. And I thank you, Mr. Brooks, for uh, allowing TKTV to do this. Uh, it's been an amazing experience. Any last few words? When would the church be predicted to be open? When's the first service? You know, go you know, ahead and let, let us know. We, we want the drop. We, we, we looking at, um, we looking at uh, January of 2021. We want to be completely renovated. We want to have everything, you know, nice and, and in place. And I would definitely make sure that you get an invite to come out and see the finished product. And uh, we're just going to, you know, uh, just have a good time, man. But yeah, January of 2021. And it's amazing because, man, the guys are really moving faster than what we anticipated. I see. But uh, we're going to stick to our timeline. So January of 2021, we want to bring in a new year, in a new place. New mindset. I believe it. I believe it. Well, guys, you heard it here first. It's your boy TK, trend artist from TK TV. Thank you all for watching. Look, stay tuned. There's so much more. Thank God for this day. Hey, Jay.